Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to take this Mongoose bike out of the box and show how it's assembled. Uh, this is the Mongoose 29 inch Durham gray bike. Let me show you a picture of it that's on the side of the box. All right guys, so here's what the bike is supposed to look like when it's assembled. It's a 29 inch mountain bike. It has a gray frame with orange writing on it. And when I was a kid, Mongoose was like the coolest brand around. So it's always been a really nostalgic brand for me. And if you can tell guys, I am big time into nostalgic stuff. So if you haven't been to my channel before, please check it out. I got all sorts of cool stuff in here. So to get a 29 inch mountain bike has been pretty hard to do. I've signed up for lots of in stock alerts um, and just not getting anything. I've been looking for about three months. So it's tough to find a, uh, you know, a 29 inch mountain bike out there right now. So, uh, you know, if you are looking for these or this one in particular, if it's not in stock, sign up for the in stock alert. That way when they do get it, um, you can get alerted and then just make sure to get in there and buy it right away. I've had multiple instances on other bikes where I've tried Tried to buy them within like 10 or 15 minutes from getting the email and it's already sold out. So um, let's go ahead and get this box opened and see what we have inside and get everything organized. All right, guys, so these are the tools that are needed to assemble the bike, a pair of safety goggles to protect your eyes, a Phillips head screwdriver, a socket wrench with a 15 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter open-ended wrench and a five millimeter Allen wrench. All right, guys, here's everything that is inside the box and it is heavy, so make sure to get help if you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything outside of the box right now and get it organized and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's everything outside of the box. I'm already liking the look of this bike. Um, so we have the frame with the back tire here. We got the front tire here. We have the pedals there and then the seat and owner's manual there. So, um, you know, make sure to read through that owner's manual too. It has everything you need to know on how to assemble the bike and how to use the bike both safely and properly. So check that out before you ever use the bike. So um, let me go ahead and I'm going to get this stuff, um, you know, all this styrofoam and cardboard stuff off of the frame here. Um, do it all carefully so I don't scratch the bike and then I will be back and we'll start with the first step All right guys, so these bolts here were already loose So I'm just twisting them out and they have a little washer on them So make sure not to lose that and then this piece just comes off like so um, I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera back now so you can see how we attach the handlebars all right, guys, so I had to come back and shoot this part. I didn't have the greatest video of it. So once you get your handlebars uh, up in here and align them properly like so, um, you want to make sure that your brake cables have a smooth arc to them like this. You don't want them all twisted up. Um, and then you put the front piece of the clamp back on and you come in with the five millimeter Allen wrench and you just tighten these bolts back down. Make sure the washer's on there too. And just tighten them down uh, little by little going back and forth. Don't tighten one all the way down and do the other. You want the clamp to go on there uh, evenly. So uh, just do, you know, each one a little bit until you get them both all the way tight. Okay, let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so um, once you get your handlebars, um, you know, aligned with the front forks of your bike and make sure that your uh, wheel is straight, and then we got a few more uh, bolts to tighten here. Um, in the owner's manual, it made sure, uh, it said to make sure not to over tighten this one here. So we're just gonna get it snug in there. And then these two, we wanna tighten down. Um, these keep the handlebar from spinning. And I'll just go back and forth on them like so until we get them tight. That way by going back, you don't want to wrench one down all the way and then do the other one because then you get like an uneven um, clamp. You want to just go back and forth until you get them all the way tight. Uh, there we go. All right, guys, there was this little piece here too that I found during cleanup. So um, don't forget to put that back in and look for it uh, if it's not in there when you uh, are looking at your handlebars. 
All right guys, so next is the front tire and you can see there that the tread's pointed in a certain direction. So um, you wanna make sure that you get that in the right direction and you can just compare it to your back tire that they put on at the factory um, and make sure that the tread is going the same direction. So um, I had a little bit of trouble getting this, this front wheel on because one of the forks is bent down there and you can see it's kind of like you know twisted out there um but i think it's going to be okay we'll see um so what you have to do when you get the front wheel on is if you take a look here um you got to make sure that you get the disc rotor into the uh brake caliper body uh see if i can get that to focus here there we go like so and then you want to make sure that your forks uh, fit over both sides of the wheel. So um, let me get this camera back on the tripod and I'm going to show you how we tighten everything up. All right, guys. So there is a lock washer they give you and you just stick the lock washer over this and then it just goes into that um, little hole right there and that will keep this in place. And then we take this and just put it right over the top and we will get it hand tight. There we go, and then I'm using a socket wrench here uh, to come in here, and we're just gonna tighten this down, and we're gonna do it like evenly on both sides. You don't wanna like crank one side down um, and then do the other side. You wanna kinda do them evenly to make sure you get a good, uh, you know, even, even tighten, evenly tighten down on both sides, so. Okay. There we go, let me get the other side a little more. There we go. And there we go. All right guys, so we're going to tighten the reflector down into place so it doesn't move while we're riding. And let's just get this nice and tight here. There we go, now that's in place and looking good. All right guys, so next is the bike seat and this is the quick release clamp here that we use once we put the bike seat in. And to loosen it, you just do a turn this way and hold onto the back while you do it so um, you know it doesn't spin with you. And then to tighten it, uh, you do it a, a spin this way. So let's go ahead and put the seat in. And there is a, um, a line here, so make sure to pay attention to that. It tells you the uh, minimum amount that the seat does have to go in. So um, I'm going to put this one in all the way like so, and I'm lining it up. And then we'll tighten down the quick release clamp like so. Make sure the seat doesn't spin, and it is all good to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, guys, so the pedals are next. There is a right and left side, and they mark the pedal with an R so you know which one goes on the right side. And you just twist this one in clockwise like so. And then once you get it in all the way hand tight, um, you use a 15 millimeter open rent open-ended wrench to get it all the way tight. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up and let's head over to the left pedal. All right guys, so next is the left pedal and that one we twist on counterclockwise like so. And then once we get it in as much as we can by hand, we'll come in here with our 15 millimeter wrench and get it all the way tight. I think I'll just go ahead and put the wrench in now. And we'll just twist that around until it's tight. Like so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's take a, a step back and look at what the bike looks like. All right guys, well there it is all put together and that's what it took to uh, put it together to get it to, to where it is now. So um, from here you would uh, check your air pressure, make sure your tires have the proper air pressure in them, uh, make any final adjustments you know, to the handlebars in alignment with the front wheel or the seat or the brakes or any of that type of stuff. And I will make a video in the future on uh, how to adjust these brakes. They use the disc brake system. 
Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna ride this bike around for a week or so and I'll be back to do a review on it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.